need to check out this boat. The abandoned ship. There are various trainers and also some things to do here, so may as well check it out. You can technically access this place as soon as you have Surf, however, you are going to need Dive to actually get through uh, some parts of this place. So may as well save it for now. noticed I've been recording for a while today. I'm starting to get hungry. Now here, Quick Attack is definitely going to do more. Electric would have resisted Aerial Ace. jump down the holes in here. Ships of this sort are rare, so I'm taking a look around. There appear to be other cabins. So yeah, there's lots of areas to look around here. We get harbor mail. largely ends up becoming a bit of a fetch quest of sorts. But I think to actually get to the fetch quest area, that's what you need dive for. This first area is mostly just clearing out some trainers. Consider using some PP up items on Kinopio's Giga Drain if I have any. It's actually been a while since I've looked down, uh, into that sort of thing on here. The door is locked. Storage is painted on the door. Uh, charming. Thankfully, that's empty. Okay, here's where we need to dive. We'll come back here. And we get a dive ball. Fitting enough, I suppose. This is a perfect place to go exploring. Well, at least the kid's happy. And escape rope. Leave whole rope. I don't think there are any wild Pokemon aboard ship, so we don't need to worry about repels running out. As it stands, I also don't think there are too many more trainers to deal with here. Ambush!
Huh. I forgot there was a Ruin Maniac on board. There actually aren't any legendary Pokemon around here, though. So, you know, he's just chilling. We must find the legendary Pokemon Regiboat! At any rate, I think usually you only find Ruin Maniacs around, like, where the Reggies are. Hi there, Lumise. You're the only Bug-type Safari I'm still missing. It also kind of bugs me that, uh, no pun intended, but it bugs me that uh, in the bug type safaris, if you have one that has Vivion in it, it doesn't register that you've encountered Vivion in there. It stays as the little Pokeball icon showing that you have not yet encountered the third thing in that safari. I'd oversight that. Also, for those wondering, the Vivion you encounter in your friend's safari, it doesn't matter what it was with the person you got the safari from, it will revert to whatever your type is. So in my case, I find modern types. I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. And we get a storage key. Well, we had that locked door earlier. Roman inserted it and turned the storage key. The inserted key stuck fast, but the door opened. You know, maybe that's what's been happening to Link all these years, and why he keeps losing small keys. And we get TM-13 Ice Beam. That's a pretty nice one to have. I just always impulsively check those. There's never anything in them. Or at any rate, if there is, it's extremely rare that there is. So, down we go. So, now we get to our little fetch quest puzzle. Room 1 is locked. Room 2 is locked. Room 3 is open. But there was a little glimmer over here in the corner. We got the room one key. Already you can see where this is going. We also got a water stone. And now we can open room one. So now there's two glimmers in here. Bright and shiny, but it's just trash. And we get TM-18 Rain Dance. Okay. And we got the Room 4 key. Okay, there was one over in the trash bin. And for once, that's actually what we needed to look at, apparently. Room 6. Nothing glimmered in here, but we have a luxury ball. And in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, I think that was the only one you got. Okay, I see what we're doing here. You can get into room 5, but can't access anything. 
but you need to look at where the glimmers are. Because you can only access it from here. Just trash. And we get the room 2 key. That's the only room we haven't been in yet. But yes, that's the one and only luxury ball you get in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Yes, it's as rare as a Master Ball. And we get a scanner. So, back out we go. Yeah, in later games, luxury balls were a lot easier to obtain. You just had to buy them at certain stores, and they were $1,000 each. Same price range as things like the netball, nestball, whatever. The luxury ball... A Pokémon caught in one of them, their friendship will raise faster. I think that's the only major effect. Oh, that's a scanner. Listen, can I get you to deliver that to Captain Stern? I want to investigate this ship a little more. So, back to Slateport with us. We're outside! Pfft. Fine, we'll take the long way. That's just silly. There, now that we're safely off the ship, can we fly? Why, thank you! <laughs> okay, now to find where Captain Stern is hiding. Oh, Rowan, that item you have. That's a scanner. That would sure help us on our explorations. Would you trade your scanner for something? Like, say, a deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale that I have? These are actually evolutionary items for Clam Pearl. However, they only work if the Clam Pearl is holding the item and then traded. A Deep Sea Tooth will evolve it to Huntail. A Deep Sea Scale will evolve it to Gorobis. As just being used as hold items, though, they do boost stats on Clam Pearl itself. The Deep Sea Tooth will raise attack stats. The Deep Sea Scale will give it higher defenses. So to help it out a bit in battle, I'm going to go ahead and get the Deep Sea Tooth. You only get one, so as far as evolutionary choices, it is another of those where you do have to choose, and have to hope you can get the item from another player. Or just have all the versions of the game, teehee. So with that little side quest out of the way, time for another refreshing pause, and we'll be back in a moment. that Pokemon? It's Birchbark! 